I really like to like to. Uh, I don't want to do it, do it for him as much as do it with him, um, and see where he's at and what he's thinking. And if they go get to the bottom of the ground, and Shannon he preached that to me a lot was the turn will happen if we get uh, if we can go read that stop good and and get still quick. Well, that slows the turn down, allows time. Well, when when a horse panics there and we miss that, then it's then it's just you get to scrambling around. Well, in that in that mix miss deal, if you don't make a big fuss of it, especially at this age, so that they don't know that panic, they just know back in uh, to the middle. Try to send that cow somewhere. Good. Walk around that outside that eye here. Just create another turn or a pull or something to where he's got to acknowledge something happened. And that's all I uh, look for. Tom Lyons told me that. Uh, a horse can't learn about a cow until you get up on a cow, and if you're off out there just dry working, well, you're just off out there dry working. <laughs> just forcing, forcing a, a stop, you know, like I, if, like that's like when we're loping around, them first times when we're starting them and gonna ask him to stop, well, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stop somewhere here. I'm not gonna stop right there, but I'm gonna stop somewhere in this vicinity. If I pick one spot, usually it's like, uh, well, that don't, uh, that's not what I really want. I would just as soon allow them to have time, find their hips, and when they get to them hips in the ground, that's when you can just go ahead and pull them in the ground. Uh, well, then no different when the cow goes, and he might acknowledge that, well, I'm not going to.